The land tax portal has been working very, very well. Um, we've had both foreign and local payments being made through the system. We launch officially today, so you can go on and view and pay your taxes online. Um, and it's part of the initiative to upgrade systems to make it easy to build public trust, make it useful for taxpayers so that you're not standing in long lines. For those of you who think that you still need to stand in a line, that's not as necessary any longer. Uh, so you can go online, you can do things related to licensing uh, and vehicle registrations, paying for weight certificates. You can go online to the TAMIS system and you can pay your, your, your VAT, corporate tax, personal tax. So it's all part of an overall initiative to improve services and practice. How are those services being utilized, the ones you just mentioned? Significant numbers of taxpayers we've seen over the last three years have maybe up to about 60 to 70 percent, have shifted from joining lines to moving to paying and, and serve, obtaining services on, on the platforms, the various platforms. So it means that's what we taxpayers want. Um, they want ease of business. They want fluidity in business. They want to be able to make changes in their tax returns and tax forms easily. And so we're building the platforms to allow them to do that. I know you asked a lot about um, refunds, refunds earlier, and we're looking forward to no October, November, and December to start paying some of the reverse tax credits, to start paying refunds related to personal tax and corporate tax as well. Final question for me, how, how these systems are improving everything, how is that helping in terms of compliance? It has allowed us, it has allowed us to drive significant compliance programs, as you know, we talk about refunds quite often, but taxpayers also owe the authority somewhat of, of $1.5 to $1.8 billion. Um, so therefore, the enforcement capacity has to be there to collect. What we've seen is significant compliance from large and medium-sized taxpayers alike. And so we welcome the initiatives. We've put together teams who meet with large taxpayers on a regular basis to make sure that the compliance is there so that the government can collect revenues to allow us to, to be able to do the social spending that we want to have at the end of the day.